Welcome back. So heart disease remains the leading cause of death in America, but really knowing what you're dealing with can be a real lifesaver. We saw it happen in real time on Monday Night Football yeah, with did. DeMar Hamlin. Mm -hmm. A lot of incidents since then as well. Quick action saved his life. It could also yeah. save yours. And joining us now on cardiac arrest and heart health, we all the answers we need. Dr. Mark Gillen off of the Cleveland Clinic. Good morning to you. Good morning. I wish I had all the answers, right. but I've got some. Sure. <laughs> you usually, you have all the answers yes. when it comes to all of our questions, right. that's for sure. Well, let's talk about, it's been in the news a lot yeah. with, uh, and that's your specialty, it's what you do, but let's just start with DeMar Hanlon. So someone being so young, um, and, and is it, do we know yet, was it something that he had as far as a condition, or was it the hit and kind of the timing of the hit and the placement? We don't have all the details, and it's possible never will, but what we do know is this. He had sudden cardiac arrest, meaning that at that moment, his heart went out of rhythm. Right now, as we three sit here, we're in what's called normal sinus rhythm, meaning mm -hmm. our heart contracts, relax, contracts, relax. And the electrical system of the heart is like a conductor. It's making mm -hmm. sure everything happens in the right sequence. The moment he collapsed, his conductor, his electrical system went haywire, stopped working. Mm -hmm. And he went into an abnormal heart rhythm called ventricular fibrillation. So instead of contracting, his heart was going like this, just wiggling, uh -huh. sending no blood flow. Wow. The question is, what caused that? Mm -hmm. And it may have been the hit. Mm -hmm. A hit right above your heart at just the wrong time can make the rhythm do that. It can also be caused by other factors. It's pretty uncommon in young, healthy athletes, but it does occur. Mm -hmm. When we see these, and I, I was trying to figure out, are we, because we heard, like Lisa Marie, uh, we heard about last night, she had cardiac yeah. arrest. We had a story about a baseball player, local high school, who had, mm -hmm. had to have uh, CPR done on him because of that as well. Do you think these, a, an incident like DeMar makes us more aware of those, and that's why we hear about it, or are we seeing an increase overall in these types of cardiac arrest? We're not seeing an increase, okay. but it's making us more aware. About yeah. 325,000 people a year in the U.S. suffer sudden cardiac arrest, but mm -hmm. they're not on Monday Night Football. Exactly. Yeah. And they're not, they're they're not, not Elvis's Marie. daughter. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, so it is happening all around us every day. I mean, that is literally about 1,000 people a day in this country suffer it. Mm. It's making us more aware, mm. and that should be a wake-up call to us. Learn CPR because mm -hmm. that's the first most important thing. With these two hands, you can save that person's life. That's amazing, and it is one of those things. Take a class if you don't know it. Talk about how important AEDs are and how much time you have. I mean, really, as a minute ticks away, 60 seconds, right. you're really losing that person. So an AED is an automated external defibrillator. It's the paddles yeah. that you place on the chest because the cure for the heart rhythm is to shock the person, get that person back into normal sinus rhythm. And many large venues have AEDs. Walk mm -hmm. through the airport, you see mm -hmm. them every 50 yards or something like that. Party centers, schools, those yeah, places Yeah, they're all over, them, and yeah. they are super easy to use mm -hmm. because all you have to do is open the box. First, know where it is. Yeah. Then get the box, open the box, place the paddles, and it tells you what to do. It talks you through it. So if you're not yeah. familiar, it's not like no, not knowing CPR. Right. That, they say, it's it's a no-brainer. Yeah, you just don't open be up that thing, and it starts telling you what to do, it gives you the instructions. Always call 911 yeah. first before you begin. Right. I mean, those are the too. three things, CPR, AED, 911. And ideally, if there's more than one person there, get those all done at the same time. Yeah. Don't delay. So that's all after the fact. Right. Is there Are there things that we can do prior to that to help or prevent cardiac yes. arrest? Yeah. The most common cause of sudden cardiac arrest is a heart attack. Those are different things. A heart attack is a problem with the arteries, an artery gets blocked. Sudden cardiac arrest is a problem with the heart rhythm. But mm. if someone has a heart attack where the artery gets blocked, that can cause the heart rhythm problem of sudden cardiac arrest. Okay. Mm. So it gets back to how do you prevent yourself from having a heart attack? And it's all the things we know, exercise, stay healthy, don't smoke, get your blood pressure and cholesterol checked, et cetera. So you can take action today, right this minute, to try to prevent yourself from being one of these people who has sudden cardiac arrest by ensuring you have good heart health. So we hear about heart attack, we hear about cardiac arrest, we're talking about, what about congestive heart failure? 
What is that and how does that relate to everything or not relate to these other two? To me, congestive heart failure is a bad term because if someone says you have congestive heart failure, you think, oh my gosh, that's horrible. Sounds my heart like a death failed. sentence yeah. in like yeah. a day, right? But it's a different thing. Congestive heart failure, also called CHF, mm -hmm. just means your heart is not strong enough anymore in most cases. It's not pumping as much blood as your body needs, so you get a backup of fluids, swelling of the ankle, shortness mm -hmm. of breath, and Fluid it can be in treated. The lungs too, I know. It okay. can be treated with medicines, diuretics, and a cardiologist can help a great deal with alleviating the symptoms. This awareness is obviously going to bring um, a lot more information to people, so yeah. it's, it's always good to talk about it. You know, a lot of times we don't, we just kind of take it for granted. Right, mm -hmm. but it's relevant to all of us. A lot of the times you're watching the Golden Globes and you're thinking those are celebrities, I'm not like them. Actually, we are all like them yeah. because we all have hearts, and this is a call to action for us to make sure we're as healthy as we can be. Mm -hmm. Well said. We thank you for being with us, and this is kind of on the on the little cups of February, which is Heart Awareness Month, right. so we're going to be talking more about it. This is the time, especially in the new year, when people start their resolutions. There's no greater resolution to make than taking care of yourself. Yeah, take care of yourself. And we'll see you on New Day coming up as well. Yeah. Great. Thanks, Dr. Mark.